Namaste, Soul Tribe family. Welcome back my way on this Divinely Guided Day. Hopefully you are well and rested and so are your families. Hopefully you have your crowns adjusted properly, okay? Especially if you're coming over here to visit the channel, I want you to stay positive, okay? Don't say nothing stupid. If it doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you. But thank you so much. I appreciate you, okay? Um, nevertheless, if you're back over here and you have yet to subscribe and you feel the energy and you would like to do so, I would like to be the first to welcome you to my A ones who are my day ones. I love you. The divine loves you. I appreciate you. Okay. For all that you do. Gifts are going out. All right. For those of you who are aware of that, uh, no longer sending gifts out. Okay. For my members, if you didn't send in your information for the members who have joined the channel, um, I will do a reading for you. Okay. Um, but, uh, watch the flow on those. Cause I also have other readings as well, y'all. So I'm getting everything done. Okay. So thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate all of you. All right. Um, the divine said, look, you shutting down toxicity. It's already been shut down. You've already uh, removed yourself from these energies. Um, despite how bad they may want to cling on, it's no longer a, a, a go. OK, the divine is shielding you from that. You are shielding yourself from that. You have started putting up blockages that I don't even think, you know, you're putting up. I feel like these are sub, uh, subconscious blocks that are being put up um, coming from your higher self. OK, coming from the thoughts and how you are manifesting things through your thoughts. I feel like the blockages that you're putting up are blockages that are um bringing in positive things. So you're blocking negative, bringing in positive. This feels like alchemizing, okay? Um, I feel like you have such a block up that you no longer even pick up on the negative, negative energy, at least not the way that you were. I feel like some of you may have done some sort of ritual to block, and this could have been a ritual that you may have just manifested wanting to block something out. Take it how it resonates. Divine creator of all living things, I ask that you protect myself and the Soul Tribe family during this read, all reads, and all the time. I ask that you provide us with clear and concise messages, as well as clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment. Any negativity that is thrown or projected at myself, the Soul Tribe family, I ask that you strike it down and cut it down as we too strike it down and cut it down, clear, cancel, and release it back to the universe. Ashe, and thank you. All right. Yeah, let's get into this message, y'all. So you blocked something um, and you blocked a lot. I feel that, yeah, big dreams are built by those who do the work. So if something was in your way, you moved it out of the way. Yeah, your success is closer than you um, imagine. So just keep going. OK, um, I feel like if there was anything that was in your way, it isn't anymore. Your higher self is coming through, letting you know this. This is something you already know. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Everything is unfolding as it should be. The universe is saying. Spirit is saying, yeah, there are many doors that lead to the place you truly belong. I feel like this is, you know, uh, many of you taking what the divine has given you as a gifted skill and turning it into something to where you are opening the doors to where you really belong. Mm -hmm. mm. What other messages from higher self? Any other messages? Yeah. You're an original so let yourself follow or let your, yeah, let yourself follow your own heart. You are an original. So let yourself follow your own heart. I kind of wanted to say flow. Okay. Flow with your own heart. It's like the, uh, the, the beat of your heart is a rhythm. Flow with your own heart. As spirit said, there will not be any mistakes. I heard that. Whatever comes out, that is the message. I heard that. Okay. So yeah, follow or follow your own heart, however it resonates with you. Yeah. It says when you start the path appears, so it takes a step in any direction for some of you who are feeling stagnated. This is your higher self. Yeah. 
You have reached a new level and a new land to be discovered. There is something for you there. This has everything to do with whatever it is that is unfolding as it should. Mm -hmm. There are many doors that lead to the place where you truly belong. I feel like this is spirit telling you there's a lot of avenues here. Yeah, when it comes to when it gets dark, remember that the sun always rises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes the best things are created from chaos. So some of you, you know, you, your creativity comes through things you've experienced in life. If you've never experienced anything in life, awesome. Then that just means your life path isn't going to be one where you can share your experiences with others in order to provide them with hope, letting them know that, you know, you can make it through something. You may not be that energy. You may not be that energy that can say, I have experienced something traumatizing. And that is how it awakened me to things that, um, you know, I never knew existed or I never knew uh, people were capable of or I never suspected. That just means that you're not um, a teacher. Uh, you have to teach through experience. I'm speaking to somebody. You have to be able to teach through experience. Well, if you've never experienced anything, then you may not be a teacher. You may not have a galactic um, gift. You may not be a chosen one is what I'm telling you. Um, I feel like the divine's chosen ones are uh, energies who have lived through something that can resonate with many in order to bring them through storms. Many of you may not be gifted that way. You may just be a healer. You may be somebody that can, you know, um, hone into energies and see, you know, what it is that someone could be possibly lacking or missing, or you may be able to just feel things. I don't know. You may not have a gift. Take it how it resonates. But over here, we be gifted. We are of royalty. We are of the chosen divine lineage. Any other messages coming from our higher self? Yeah. Came out again. Everything is unfolding as it should be. And this is the overall energy. Yeah. Look for the signs that will guide you to the destiny you have known all along. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, you know, hey, yeah. You're moving towards and away from. Let's see what you're moving away from. Then let's see what you're moving towards. Whoa, did not mean to do that. Let's see what you're moving away from. You're moving away from, first and foremost, childish ways, immaturity, argumentative people. You're moving away from anyone who plays the victim all the time. Well, that's so draining. You're moving away from that energy. What else are you moving away from? Some of you could be an unemployed at this time. You could be seeking um, employment. Um, some of you are moving away from bo uh, broke poverty mindset. Some of you uh, could be moving away from a place of business or a place of employment. It may be very toxic. Some of you may have just uh, been shifted into being unemployed. You could have moved towards this energy of being unemployed. Some of you could be moving towards or away from 1111 energy, twin flame, runner chaser, divine timing out here. Some of you could be moving towards a twin flame, moving towards uh, what it is that the divine wants you to move towards during divine timing. Somebody could be moving away from that energy, though. It just depends on where you're at in the timeline. If you are regressing, especially if you've experienced some sort of unemployment,
uh, finances, then you could be moving away from divine timing, or this could be divine timing. Maybe something else is coming right up, right around the corner. You'll be able to start immediately. Take it how it resonates. What other messages? What is it that they could be moving away from or towards? Yeah, you're moving away from secrets and mysterious acting individuals, energies. You know, you're moving away from people that feel like they always have something to hide. That's childish energy because you shouldn't have anything to hide as an adult. Everything should be out in the open. You could be moving away from that type of energy. Mm. Some of you could be moving towards that energy as well. Mm. Yeah, you could be moving towards intimacy. This could be a passion. You could be coming into union with someone. There could be a chemistry here. Someone could be missing you. You're either moving away from or towards intimacy. Take it how it resonates. Mm. Something here about some unfinished business. I feel like if you've been procra procrastinating something, um, it's getting ready to resurface. There's got to be some sort of reconciliation here. Depends on how you're feeling, uh, what was done. But there could be someone coming in to make some sort of proposal, some sort of a forgiveness or reconciling here. I also feel that energy that somebody feels like it's their fault. You lost your job. If you lost your job, you may be getting an apology from someone, someone trying to come in and reconcile. Yeah, they may feel like it's just up in flames now. You may be feeling like it's up in flames now. Job loss out here again. Yeah, you may be feeling like everything is crumbling. You may feel like you should have gotten rid of this energy uh, a long time ago. This could have been somebody that was in your energy field family that was like, you know, very immature. They were always playing the victim. They were real secretive. They were doing something behind your back that caused you to possibly lose a job. Now they're unemployed. They're getting ready to be unemployed. Mm -hmm. You may have been intimate with this person at one point in time. This could have been a relationship that was on the job. It was hot and it was spicy. There was something there that you know you guys could be missing, but yeah, there was a lot of mind games too. Mm -hmm. There were mind games, immaturity as well. Somebody testing out the waters, seeing how you were going to act. Mm -hmm. Real immature. Mm. Yep, twin flame energy. Wanting people to chase after them. Causing a lot of controversy, yet hiding their true feelings, deep emotions, secretly in love or cold and detached. Causing a lot of controversy. Drama, scandal, truth coming out about this energy. You may have felt this was an energy that you didn't really want to deal with, but you were dealing with them for whatever reason. I feel like this is somebody that cost someone their job and now they're losing their job. And everything is crumbling. This could have been um, somebody dating on the job and something being found out that because they were dating, they were covering each other's back in some kind of uh, way that ended up causing both of them to become unemployed or this is coming. Because mm -hmm. in the past position, yeah, they, they did something real immature here. And they played the victim, but they were being sneaky as hell. 
they were hiding information. Something came out, y'all. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of chaos on this job or within these jobs, companies. And people or somebody or you even kept losing your job and everything was crumbling. Now, these people, they are unemployed because they were having relationships, playing mind games with people, possibly even had a relationship with you, playing mind games with you. The whole time, they were just analyzing, trying to get information pertaining to, you know, your life, your livelihood, how you were living, how you were feeling, how you were doing, monitoring spirit energy. Yeah, this was a twin flame. They were used to manipulating, gaslighting, runner chaser energy out here. Something happened in divine timing. And that could have been when they lost their job. Mm -hmm. Now there's some unfinished business out here because they could have been hiding their feelings. They really could have been like your super number one hater. And you thought they were like someone that had your back and was in your corner. But they were really the one behind all the drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a broken mirror here. They've got addictions. They've been on a roller coaster ride and they are toxically connected to a lot of toxicity. Toxic connections out here for real. Mm -hmm. Tell me more spirit. Yeah. Toxic love. Yep, drama, addictions, love, hate, relationships. I feel like, you know, you were, you were trying to avoid that. This could have been your energy. Somebody could, you know, be feeling guilty. That's why reconciliation is out here. Somebody could have been uh, feeling guilty about all of that. They were... Possibly putting or projecting onto you. Yep, they were in hiding. They were hiding. They appear to be some true. They appear to be someone who was a loyal, true friend. But there was divine intervention here. Now they're facing their demons. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the divine made this energy present. For those of you who have never gone through anything, this isn't your message. But those of you have that have been gaslighted, who have thought someone that was really close to you was really for you, only to find out that they were not, this may be your message. Yeah. You started avoiding those spiritual attacks through divine intervention. Yeah. You could have been stubborn at first. They could have been uh, stubborn, bossy and selfish, very inflexible. You may have been inflexible to spirit's warnings at first because you felt like this was somebody that you could trust. This was somebody that actually you could not trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could be regretting something. There's something going on behind some pictures that were taken, possibly. There's some sort of one-sidedness to the pictures for whoever that message is for. Yeah, reconciliation, mm -hmm. thinking of you. Yep, trying to figure out a way to uh, resolve this conflict. Yeah, you're not in contact with this person. They're at a distance from you. They could be, you know, um, just wasting away their life, however that may be, making it rain. Yeah. While you're being held in high honor, they're envious and very jealous of this. They may just pop up. It could even be an ex. But somebody's feeling guilty. They got caught. Yeah, this push and pull energy. Yeah, now they want to reconcile. And yeah, you're at a you're at a distance. They are snooping on your social media though. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, there could be some opposite attract energy there. There could be some distractions there. I feel like spirit is trying to provide you with some guidance. You may be empress energy. Yeah, but you're saying deuces to that enviousness. You don't have time for any envy, any jealousy, any low vibrational energies whatsoever. Yeah, you're not into love affairs. You're not into anyone thinking of you in such a way. Yeah, you're sick and tired of being, you know, looked at as some sort of sex object or something along those lines. You're tired of being looked at as that for somebody, whoever that message is for. Yeah. The divine lets you see people's envy. Mm -hmm. They were a hater, very spiteful and jealous energies. These people need to work on themselves. I feel like you cut your cords to them, though. Mm -hmm. You moved away from that energy. You're no longer dealing with it. And you're not allowing it towards you either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody could have been, you know, uh, up in their head confused about why you cut them off they may not even realize this person is confused they don't even realize why you left them alone or stopped communicating with them they don't understand you could see who they truly were you could really see that they were a hater they were a spiritual uh, uh they were spiteful and jealous and spiritual haters tell me more spirit mm -hmm. yeah they were limiting they were limiting you and they also had limiting beliefs they had a limiting mindset anything that limits themselves that's definitely not this company there's no room for growth these are individuals that feel they already know everything not knowing adam and eve lived to be 900,000 years old these people ain't even made it halfway, not even near, close. But they were limiting. They don't believe. They don't know. They don't have an inner knowing. Yeah. They're dealing with a lot of soul mirrors. Dealing with other people's reflections and projections. This was bleeding into their relationships with other people's. Could have been bleeding into your life as well. These people now want to come in. They want to reconcile. They want to heal a union here. They want to open their heart now. I feel like spirit is saying forgiveness is fine, but forgiveness is just forgiveness. It doesn't mean that you're reuniting with these energies. What's this whole mirror? Yeah, mental contest, exactly. They want to uh, play the game of the power of the minds. Who's got the strongest mind, the strength? Where is it coming from? Strength comes from within. The strength comes from winning struggles. That's what defines strength. These people are constantly on an intellectual battle. And the divine is saying they haven't quite the resilience or the nourishing energies that you have with that empress energy. They're not a nourishing energy. They don't have the resilience that you have. They're going to need the resilience from both the light and the dark. You have that. You blossomed in the dark. You're like a lotus. You got everything you got out the mud. You got it out the mud. Did nobody just come and hand you anything? Anything given to you? It was a trap. Yeah, see, there was a self-reflection that you went through. You looked inward. This is what helped you to see what you needed to improve to make better decisions and choices. You became aware. That's where your, empower your empowerment came from, was through your awareness of external and internal Emotions, feelings, acknowledging them, analyzing them. 
tracking down where they were coming from. What was making you feel this way? What was making you react that way? That's when your spirit starts to awaken. Yes, intuition spiritually starts to awaken. Mm-hmm. Final messages, please. And thank you, sir. Final messages. Yeah, you had to do a shadow dance with the dark and the light. Mm-hmm. Fluidity, movement, being open, being open to, to uh, you know, things that you did not know, but your inner knowing knew. Mm-hmm. and not make it up you took a journey inward your inner knowing knew mm-hmm. your introspection group for those of you that have been peaches and cream all your life you've never had to undergo any challenges or any types of woes any heartaches you've just been you know uh, gliding through life, just living, just swell, never had any issues, then this ain't your message. <laughs> but for those of y'all that have had to, you know, hold it down many different ways through many different circumstances and situations, because you just weren't uh, born with these uh, platinum spoons in your mouths, or you just weren't born, uh, you know, where everybody was extremely sheltered within their coven or within their groups, uh, their protected societies. You weren't uh, raised up in frats and 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 within all these sororities and and all of that, right? These uh these these groups. Mm-hmm. Then you understand you had to stand ten toes down and with the divine. You didn't have a frat brother or a frat sister or a sorority sister you could run to, a frat brother you could run to. You didn't belong to any of these special groups. You didn't belong to anything that, you know, uh, my daddy's a, a judge and 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 my uncle's a lawyer and, and they rub elbows with everybody in this state, town, city, uh, Providence perish whatever the case may be right mm-hmm. i'm talking to y'all so try family i'm talking to the ones that yeah we know how to get it out the mud that's what i'm talking to mm-hmm. final message yeah this is an emotional release for you mm-hmm. a catharsis a purification letting go Mm-hmm. create space for new beginnings family mm-hmm. and that's exactly what you did either you're moving towards or away from take it how it resonates mm-hmm. and some of you are moving away from the anger because you know the anger has has can be a blockage right so many of you are moving away from that because you already know the longer you stay angry with someone or something or anybody or behind something they did that consumes your energy that sets up blockages to stop you from moving forward so you are moving away from anger Mm -hmm. and that's one of the best things you can move away from you get real clear perspective when you do that all right. So I'm going to leave it here for y'all. Hopefully it resonates. I love you, babies. Okay. I love you and the divine loves you. All right. Um, um, I just want my soul tribe family to know I would not be here if it wasn't for you. Um, because of you, I can sleep. I have not slept in like, well, no, maybe the last past seven years. It was, I've been sleeping, but you know, it hasn't been asleep. It was always some sleep where, you know, you were worried. Um, I want to thank y'all for seriously helping me get through uh, those times. I ain't even going to front about that. Okay. Um, that is why no matter what, over here, man, the divine shows favor. The divine shows favor over here, family. I want you to understand that, believe that, claim that, know that, know that inner, know in your inner being that the divine is showing the all being 1111 energy soul tribe family favor, period. Okay. I need you to understand that. All right. And understand that. Overstand 
and understand that. Okay. All right. All right. Divine, thank you so much for being our lives. We are grateful for you. We are indebted to you. We love you. We serve you, the most high creator of all living things. Thank you for our angel and our spirit guides and our ancestors. We are grateful. Thank you for all of the blessings that you have bought, brought into our lives thus far, uh, bringing us through trials and tribu tribulations. Those are blessings. Helping us through the hardest times. Those are blessings. And we are grateful. Thank you. Divine Creator, at this time, I'd like to ask that you keep us with love, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, peace, protection, and respect in our lives and all the time. Ashe, and thank you. And until next time, you know what I love to say. Namaste.